Good evening. How are you? Buenas noches. Good night. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening Rufino, Luis Enriquez, Patricia, Astrid, Maricela, Carla. Okay, we are going to begin in a couple of minutes. We are going to wait for the rest. How are you? How was your day? How was your weekend? You're in the space, Rufino. Yes. Yes. <laughs> in the space, out of the out, out of the air. Space. Yes. In space. I make this cosmos. <laughs> yes, it's really cool. Okay, before uh, beginning, I will let you know that this is week number five, right? Hi. Hi, good evening. Sorry, this is week number four. Hi, Liliana, good evening. Good evening, Luis Enriquez. Good evening, Astrid. Okay, now this is the last week. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. So, good evening, Jenny. Uh, this is the last week, uh, week number four for intermediate. Good evening, Mr. Luis Urias. Good evening, so uh, thank you for connecting it says uh, yes it seems that some people have some connection problems algunos tienen problemas al conectarse pero este good evening, pueden, good evening eh, pero vamos a, a esperar a los que se conecten los demás y parece que los demás hay unos que tienen problemas tal vez está lloviendo it's, donde están ellos it's raining it's raining right it's raining area. yes Yes. Yes. In my in my in my city it's not raining yet. Probably later will rain. But um yes, they have some problems. So this is the last week, week number four. So we are going to finish this week. Okay. Thank you for all your effort and also your uh, presence here. Uh, espero que le haya um hayan practicado el inglés y hayan pues asimilado lo que han estudiado. También as, como un aviso, el jueves 28 de julio es el último día para completar los ejercicios de la plataforma. Por eso les quería decir esto antes de comenzar la clase para que ustedes obtengan su diploma. Ahí lo van a poder ustedes descargar y el último día para completar los ejercicios es el 28 de julio. No sé si ya alguien completó los ejercicios y el examen. Yes. Yo lo completé, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, oh, okay, very good, muy bien. Entonces ahí como está disponible las 24 horas la plataforma, cada quien pues se puede organizar, verdad. Solo les quería hacer saber eso por si alguien tenía algún problema en la conexión o no había completado los ejercicios o el examen. Entonces ahí Liliana Sánchez dice que I got the diploma, dice, o sea que ella ya le dieron el diploma. Entonces, no, no debe de haber ningún problema, solo tienen que completarlo. Entonces, vamos a ahora finalizar. We are going to finish this week with um, the topics of this section, right? Section five. This week, you didn't have any, any homework, right? No homework. No tenían tarea, ¿verdad? No teacher. No homework, okay. Uh -huh. So we are going to uh, start the last week with some topics. Actually, we are going to have vacations. Vamos a tener vacación. El, the first week of August, you're not going to have any classes, right? If you continue with um, these classes and in, um, in the first week, you are not going to have any class, okay? So you are going to have vacations. And actually this topic, the topics that we are going to talk about in the class, they are related uh, to vacations. Okay, so we are going to practice that vocabulary. Maricela also got the diploma, dice. Maricela, Maricela got the diploma also, so very good. So let me know if you have any problem, if you don't receive the diploma, or if you have any problem completing the exercises, you can let me know. So we are going to begin right now. I'm going to share my screen. Let me see here. And these are the exercises that we are going to study today. Probably you are 
familiar with it, with everything, but we are just going to practice, okay? We are going to practice. So this is the objective for today. It says the future tense, el futuro, ¿verdad? El tiempo futuro. Is what we use to discuss our plans and hopes. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to the future tense. And English Joe Science explains these two different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple formula, ask and answer questions using going to and will as auxiliary verbs and practice discussing your future plans. For example, an upcoming vacation, holidays with family, or even your plans for later in the day. So we are going to talk about vacations. We are going to talk about plans, trips, different things. So this is the vocabulary that we are going to study. Future with be going to and will. What do you like to do on vacation? Like we have some examples. Take a trip, discover something new, stay at home, enjoy nature, visit a foreign country, travel in my own country, go to a music festival, take a photography course, hang out with friends, host a family reunion, go camping, relax at the beach. So what do you like to do on vacation? What do you like to do? What do you do on vacations when you, are, when you have time for yourself? Normally, teacher, I work all, all the vacation because I don't have a holiday because the cow produces milk all days, all days, all week, all years. Yes, mm -hmm. every day, right? Every day, yes. Every yes, day. exactly. So you don't have vacations? Um, Any day? So, sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. Sometime. But it's, it's uh, I hope uh, um, in August, maybe uh, have a, a two days because I I will be to the beach, mm -hmm. maybe with my family. Okay, maybe. you will go to I the don't beach. Know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, you don't know. <laughs> I don't know because if you if you watch uh, today, I, I am in San Salvador, mm -hmm. but uh, in the afternoon, I received a, a call because uh, two cows are sick. And maybe tomorrow I get up at 2 o'clock because I want to travel to Chalatenango because I want to, uh, it's, it's, um, it's necessary because uh, I need to, um, 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 a doctor because to to cope uh, a few days uh, are party. We uh, will will maybe we we'll party. O sea, you will have a party, or, uh, or, you will, or they no, will go. They will go a party. Uh, no, no party, excuse me, is a, a, a born mm -hmm. because to call are preñadas y van a parir. Oh, they will deliver. Deliver, yes. They will deliver. So yes. it's important for you to be there because. Yes, yes. Yes. And they, cows only have one, right? One. Yes, only. Only one, right? Not only two, one. not three. No. Because they're big, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. So you have to be there. So probably you won't have vacation on this week, but probably next week. Probably next week. Yes. Okay. And what do you like to do when you're on vacation? You like to go to the beach. You like to go to the mountain. You want to like to like to stay at home. I I like to to go to the beach. You like to go to the beach. Yes. And what do you do there? You stay with uh, your family. With you... my family, yes, mm -hmm. with my family. Um, and we'll go to 
la Costa del Sol. En uh -huh. two days, no more. Just two days. Two days. Just Costa days. del Sol, y Costa del Sol is a beautiful beach, right? Yes. It's beautiful. Um, I have a friend, uh, uh, but uh, he 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 takes the ranch mm -hmm. with pool and and um, near to the beach. Okay, and you stay there. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. So hopefully you will have time and you will go after the cow delivers the the calf, yes. right? Probably, <laughs> and everything probably. will be everything will be good probably, but hopefully, right? I hope. Yes, <laughs> I, I I hope I hope and God uh, don't have problem. <laughs> yes, probably you won't have any problem, but yes, you just have to uh, be there. And um, who else wants to participate? What else do you do on vacations? Like, do you stay at home? Do you go on a trip? Do you travel inside of the country, outside of the country? What do you do on vacations? Or you don't do anything? You just watch Netflix, TV? You just watch movies? What do you do? No, I I like to uh, play soccer. You like to play soccer? Yes. And do you play but, soccer? Uh, <laughs> do you play soccer on the beach? Uh, yes, yes, I like. Okay, like very good. Play soccer. Okay, Liliana, what do you do on vacation, Liliana? I don't know if you are able to hear me because it's raining too hard. <laughs> but... <laughs> yes, I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> on this vacation, I will go to uh, Cuevas de Moncagua, I guess, mm -hmm. and Laguna de Alegría, and the Cien gradas. I don't remember exactly how it's called, but I will go to those places. Mm -hmm. I guess that on Sunday. And on Sunday. Uh, yeah, and I will stay at home, watching Netflix, spending time with my family, and we are going to celebrate my grandmother's birthday mm -hmm. because we'll be on this weekend as well. So basically spending time with my relatives and and spending time with my friends as well because i will go out with them on on vacation okay very good very good so you like to visit places inside of the country yes okay yes. very good i wanted to go to guatemala uh, but i had to wake up like 3 a.m i don't know because there are kind of uh, yes. you have to pay it, but you have to go at 3 a.m. So, nah. <laughs> it's too early, right? Yes, it's too early. Maybe later. <laughs> yeah, later. And Cuevas de Moncagua, where, where is that located? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. You will go. <laughs> you will go. You will see. Okay, very good. Okay, take a lot of pictures. Yes, of <laughs> Okay, very good. Thank you, Liliana, for your participation. Now, who else wants to participate? Teacher. Yes. Yes, Luis. Eh, only eh, the metido, este, Moncagua, <laughs> the, uh -huh. water, the water is hot. hot. It's hot. Hot. And it's also... Hot. Uh, Moncagua is near to San Miguel. Oh, yeah, probably it's hot, right? Yes. So it's not a fresh it's water. Yes. It's near San Miguel, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. it's the, the, the way to the Ciudad Barrios. Oh, okay. Yeah. So probably one day everybody will be able to go there. And we'll, <laughs> I will touch the water and I will say, yes, it is true, it's hot. Or no, it's, it's not true, okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Luis. He okay. knows, he knows a lot of places. Now, Another person who wants to participate, what do you normally do on vacations? Or what are you going to do on your next vacations? We have these questions here. What do you normally do on your vacations? Or what, what are you going to do in your next vacations? For example, I normally, sometimes I stay at home. Sometimes I go on trips like Liliana, right? To visit different places like the mountain or the beach because we have a, a beautiful places. Uh, a lot of beautiful places. So what what would you what do you normally do? 
We have Rufino, we have Luis, we have Jenny. Who else wants to participate? We have Olivia, Gabriela, Tatiana, Andrea, Crisia, Patricia. We have a lot of people. Uh, teacher. Yes. So we we usually to do on vacation, uh, go to the beach, uh, of course, always. Yeah. We are with, with all, all my family. Sometimes we are going to the to the forest. Mm -hmm. And the, in especially in Chalatenango, the weather is, is very cold. That yes. uh, we like to us, yeah. And the, uh, almost uh, never we, we are going to another country. Like a vacation always we enjoy here in El Salvador. Okay, so you spend your time here in El Salvador and you go uh, yes. to the mountains or you go to the beach? Yes. Okay, what do you it, what do you prefer the most? The beach. The yes. beach. Uh yeah. what what yeah, is your recommendation? Beach. Which one? Uh it depends depends on the uh, any person. Yeah. Some, oh, it, some person would like to go to the mountain. Uh, but I think the the most of, of person go to the beach on vacation. Yes, yeah. it's, it's really crowded, right? A lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. A yes. lot of people. And which yes. uh, which place do you visit? What is the name of the beach? Uh, aquí, the beach in Costa del Sol. Ah, Costa del Sol also. Yes. Costa del Sol. Or oh. maybe a, a here like a, a pass. La Paz? La Paz Department. Yeah, oh, the, in Paz. La Paz, the Department of La Paz. We usually, we usually go to the Oja Resort. Oh, Las Hojas Resort. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's very place, famous. It's, it's a place, like Las Hojas Resort. Las Hojas, yes, yeah, it's, we, it's we, very famous. We have, uh, uh, how to say the I plan to we pay like we spend by four years to to stay here. <laughs> I don't remember the name, but <laughs> okay. Uh, como como a membresía in Spanish. Membership, membership, membresía, membership. So you have a membership. Member you membership. Yeah. Membership. Yes. Okay. And okay. then we we. We have like five years to enjoy that place. Maybe the next time we are going to get a new membership from another place to to change. Yeah. Yeah, to change. Yeah, yeah, you can change. Actually, I don't have any membership. I, we just go like that. But if you have a membership, that's good because you have different. Um, we can use different things like amenities, and you can go the whole year. You can take your family and your friends. So you can take advantage of yes. that. Also, Liana said that San Blas yes. Beach is recommended. San Blas. San Blas. Have Here you gone? Have you gone there? Eh? In La Libertad, yes. Exactly. Yes, yes. I I, I have the some some uh, some places on that with uh, family and friends. Yeah. Yes. Uh, in special. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So the good thing is that we we are a very small country, but we have different places and they are really near. So normally that's what we are going to talk right now. What do we do on vacation? And uh, this is a conversation, okay? Uh, with future and with going to, because when we make plans, we use going to and we use will. And we have a conversation here. It says, uh, Nora and Lily. Okay, we are going to read the conversation and we are going to practice the conversation with a friend. Now it says, I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We are going to go surfing every day and my cousin likes to snorkel. 
So maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I love to. I'll bring my softboard. Mm -hmm. That's great. The more, the merrier. Okay, so do you have any question about this conversation? Preguntas acerca de la conversación? Yes. Questions? What are your questions? Uh, Teacher, what means what's the meaning Mario? of the merrier? What's the meaning of the merrier? Mm -hmm. uh, the merrier is mm -hmm. like, if you if we are more, mm -hmm. we are going to be happier because entre más mejor, decimos en, en español, ¿verdad? Okay. Entre más seamos mejor. Yes, next one. Snorkel. Snorkel, Liliana, is when you go like not like with with a lot of devices or anything but you just go with to breathe you use like a tube here and you go underwater okay yes but just uh to check the fishes not that deep not tan profundo okay just to check the fishes the corals things like that so you go snorkeling shark yeah the shark so <laughs> Uh, do you have any other questions? Like, for example, do you mean it? What does it mean? Do you mean it? If I tell you, do you mean it? What does it mean, that expression? ¿Qué quiere decir, do you mean it? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Are you serious? Do you mean it? O sea, de veras? That, that is the expression. Do you mean it? I love to write, I'll bring my software. So those will be the, the sentences that we have uh, or the, the new vocabulary that we have is snorkeling, uh, the more the merrier, that is an expression and also do you mean it, okay? Now I just need two volunteers and we are going to practice it just to practice the pronunciation, okay? Do you want me to read it again or you're ready? ¿Quieren que la lea otra vez o están listos para practicar? Okay, you're ready then. We are going to practice. So yeah. I need two volunteers only. One will be Nora or in another one will be Lily. It can be A or B, right? So two volunteers, those voluntarios. Jenny and Levy. Okay, Jenny, you will begin and Levy will continue, okay? And then Andrea, okay. 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 I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I will just stay at home. Maybe I'll hang out with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We are going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to snorkel. So maybe we'll, we'll go snorkeling one, one day. Sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I would love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merit. Your micro teach. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I'll <laughs> remember the I'll is the contraction of I will, right? We can say it I'll. And when we speak really fast, we it's we can notice it, but very like it's very small the 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 pronunciation, the sound. So I guess I'll just stay home, and also um, I'll hang out, right? Hang out with some friends. Voy a salir con amigos. Hang out es salir, verdad? Con amigos. And also sounds like fun, right? And I like to bring my surfboard. The more the merrier. Okay, very good, very good. Now we had Andrea also, she wanted to participate. And who wants to participate with Andrea? Who said me, teacher? Grisia. Grisia, okay. Grisia and Andrea, go ahead. Um, I start. 
Yes, you can start. Yes. Okay. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my with some friends and watch my favorite series. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to we're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin and my cousin likes to snorkel. So maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Sounds like fun. Hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. They're more than married. Your microphone, teacher. Sorry again. <laughs> Sorry again. <laughs> so very good. You did very well. The intonation, the exclamation marks, everything was really good. So remember, uh, pay attention to the conversation, okay? Because after the conversation, we are going to have something else. Also, Rufino wants to participate. Uh, do you want to, who wants to participate with Rufino? Me. Who said me? Yo, Estela, excuse Estela. me, acabo de venir. Fui a la iglesia, me agarró la lluvia y por eso me conecté hasta ahorita. I'm sorry, pero puedo participar si gustan. Okay, very good, Estela, no worries. Okay, Estela and Rufino. Rufino, you can begin, please. Okay, I am so excited. We have to wake up. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I I have out with some friends and watch my favorite series. Ah, what about you? Any plans? Yeah, I got. I'm going to relax on the beach with my cousin, we are going to surfing every day. Uh, my cousin likes to snorkel, so maybe we'll go snorkeling one day. Sound like fun. Hey, why do you come with us? Do you mean, mean it? I love to. I bring my surfboard. That's great. The more that merrier. Okay, very good, very good, very good, Estela, very good, Rufino. Remember, Thank I'm so I'm so excited. What does it What does it mean? Excited. Excited. What is the meaning of excited? Emocionado. Right. Excited. Excited. Exactly. And the pronunciation of hang out is I'll hang out. Right. I'll hang out. It's kind of difficult sometimes. But it's just, you just need to practice, right? I'll hang out. Very good. Now we have another exercise here. It says, read the conversation and practice it with a friend. We already practice it. Then find new vocabulary. We already found a new vocabulary. And um, it says, where are they going to stay? How are they going to get there? So uh, this is another exercise. As we know, this conversation is, they are, where are they going to go? ¿A dónde van a ir ellas? Where are they going to go? They are going to go snorkeling. Playa. Snorkeling, to the snorkeling. beach, playa, to the beach. exactly, to the beach, exactly. We are going to go to the beach. They are going to snorkel yeah, in there. Yeah. But uh, there is one missing part of the conversation. Also, um, they don't know where they are going to stay because if you go to the beach and you will do different things, you need to stay in a place, right? Like a ranch or a hotel. So we are going to listen because we haven't practiced the listening skill, not that much. Uh, so we are going to listen to the rest of the conversation. And I want you to tell me where are they going to stay and how are they going to get there, okay? Vamos a practicar, eh, vamos a oír la conversación y vamos a ver eh, dónde se van a quedar y cómo van a llegar ahí donde se van a quedar. Okay, so let me stop sharing the screen and we are going to listen to it. Just allow me one moment, please, because I need to play it.
So we are going to listen. We are going just to practice the listening. Okay, I found the conversation. Just one moment, please. Okay, I'm going to share with you right now. Just one moment, please. Okay, this is the conversation that we have read, that we have practiced already. This is the conversation, okay? So we are going to listen to it. Just listen to it. First, we are going to listen uh, the whole conversation and then the part that is missing. Listen and practice. Can you listen to it? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay, yes, we're yes. going to listen to it. Yes. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. Okay, very good. That is the conversation that we have listened, that we have practiced, right? We we'll listen to the pronunciation. Now we are going to listen the missing part. The missing part is not here. La que falta no está aquí, así que lo vamos a escuchar. Thirty, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are they going to stay? How will they get there? By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call them tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay, did you listen to it? Yes? Or do you want me to play it again just one more time? Play one more time, teacher. <laughs> okay. So I just want you to tell me one thing, uh, two things also. Uh, where are they going to stir, to stay, sorry? Where are they going to stay and how they are going to get there? ¿Dónde se van a quedar? ¿Y cómo van a llegar donde se van a quedar? Okay, I will play it again. Stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty. How will they get there? Exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where are they going to stay? How will they get there? By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call them tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay, that's it. Again, the conversation at the end. Did you get the information? Did you get it? Yes. Yes, okay. Where are they going to stay, Liliana? Uh, they are going to stay at her uncle and aunt. Beach house. Very good, very good. At her uncle and aunt's beach house. La casa de playa del tío y de la tía. The uncle and aunt's beach house. Very good. And how are they going to get there? Who knows? By bus. By bus, exactly. Bus. At what time? 
What time are they going to get the bus? Five a.m. Five a.m. At five a.m. Yes. Very good. You see, you understood very well. Very good. Now we are going to check the conversation. Let me check here. I'm just going to close it. I just want to close it. It says here, I have a problem with my camera. I, it only turns on at times. That's why I haven't activated. Okay, Stella, no problem. Okay, I'm going to share right now the conversation that we have listened to it and for you to check that they are going to stay there, right? At the on and on calls beach house. So it says here, um, by the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house, right? They have plenty of room and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we are going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There is a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. So th those are the answers, right? We can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house and by bus, right? There is a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. Very good. Do you have questions about this vocabulary? Preguntas acerca del vocabulario que hay aquí? No questions? Okay. So this was, uh, this was the introduction, right? For the topic that we are going to study today, which is will and going to. Future with be going and to, be going to and will, right? We use be going to plus verb for plans you've decided on. Probably you have studied this already, but you, we are going just to review it, right? El going to lo usamos para planes que ya hemos decidido. Examples. What are you going to do? I am going to relax at the beach. We're going to go surfing every day. I'm not going to do anything special. And will, will we use it for possible plans before you've made a decision? That is a possibility, right? What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. I don't know. I think I'll go camping. I probably won't go anywhere. So uh, this is, these are possibilities, right? And this is when we have decided to do something. So um, we have extra information here. It says, use be going for things you have planned and are not far in the future. Use will for rapid decisions and things that are not planned. They're usually far in time. I'm going to eat dinner with my friends tomorrow. Maybe I will visit my family in the countryside. And we have more exercises here, more explanations. We have a, a formula, right? We have always, we always have formulas. So it says here the formula for affirmative with going to. We have subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. And we write it, right? We just follow the order. I am going to stay home for the weekend. So uh, remember that if we use going to, the verb will be in present tense, okay? So, or it will be in infinitive actually, but um, it, it is here. I am going to stay at home for the weekend. And re the rest of the sentence is um, the complement. We have also negative, right? We can see here the negative statements. I will not go on vacation this month. Or uh, the contraction is, I won't, right? I won't go on vacations this month. And negative for I am uh, going to, right? I am not going to travel abroad this year. So we just add the not after the verb to be. Después del verb to be, le agregamos not. And the contraction is, I'm not going to travel abroad this year. So that is the contraction for going to with the verb to be and the contraction with will. With will, it doesn't change if we use he, she, it, we, they, doesn't change, it's the same, right? I will, they will, we will, and negative is the same. I, I won't, she won't, we won't, but be careful with going to because we use the verb to be, right? And that's it. 
And this is with will, right? Possibility. Uh, we use some words to express possibility. Usamos palabras también para expresar posibilidad. For example, I guess, maybe, I think, probably. What does it mean, I guess? ¿Qué significa I guess? Supongo. Supongo. Mm, yes, I guess, creo, ¿verdad? I guess. Maybe, what does it mean, maybe? Tal vez. Tal vez. Tal vez, exactly. I think. Pienso. Yo creo. Pienso. Yo creo. 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 Mm -hmm. I probably. Probablemente. Ajá, probablemente. Yo pro probablemente vaya, yo probablemente vea. So, that's a possibility. And then we have subject plus will plus verb plus the complement. I guess I will watch the football game or I probably will watch the football game. And we have more examples here. I guess I will go to the movies on Sunday. Maybe I will travel abroad next year. I think I will get a new car by the end of the year. I will probably get a new job next year. So those will be some examples. And we have more questions here, right? How are you going to spend your next vacation? This is four questions, right? With going to, uh, normally we can we can ask with uh, will, but normally for plans we use going to, right? So for example, how are you going to spend your next vacation? So, and then we answer with will if we are not sure or, or with going to if we are sure of what we are going to do. Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Normally we use WH questions because we need more information, right? And these are the terms, right? I guess, I think, probably, I suppose. Yo supongo es I suppose, right? Yo supongo. I expect, espero. I expect I will be on the beach on next next week at, at this time, right? Espero estar a la playa en este momento, la, a esta hora la próxima semana. So probably uh, we use I expect. So before you made a decision, we use will, right? What are you going to do? For example, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay at home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. I don't know. I, feel, I think I'll go camping. I probably won't go anywhere. Or things that you have decided with going to, right? What are you going to do? I'm going to relax at the beach. We're going to go surfing every day. I'm not going to do anything special. And this will be the future. This is like the same uh, structure, right? Subject plus will plus verb plus complement. Um, we use it for uncertain decisions or, or uncertain situations, not only for vacations, right? Also for uh, uncertain situations. Maybe I will go to the beach with my friends for promises. We use will for promises also. I will buy you a new laptop if you get good grades. So we can use it for promises. Also for prediction without evidence. I will be famous when I grow up. So we can use it for prediction and for offers or rapid decisions. It's really hot today. I'll open the windows for you. So that is um, how we use will. And going to, this is the structure again, subject plus B plus going to plus verb plus complement, the same structure. And we use it for plans, right? For vacations, right? I'm going to go to a party on Friday. She's going to travel to the US next, next week. And prediction with evidence. Predicciones con evidencia. Look at the clouds. It is going to rain a lot. So it's an evidence because we can see that it's cloudy, right? That is gray. The sky is gray. So probably it's, it's probably it's going to rain a lot. So we use going to. Now, um, before this exercise, do you have any question right now? Preguntas acerca de we are going to? Questions? No questions or everything's no. clear? Everything's clear. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to complete the following conversation with the appropriate forms of going to or will, and then we are going to practice it, okay? So remember that will is just for possibilities, right? And going to uh, for plans, for, for things that we have planned already. 
So we are going to take into account that, um, that information to complete this. The first one says, have you made any vacation plans? Answer, well, I've decided on one thing. I will go. I will go. Camping. Okay, it says, Mr. Uh, Luis Urias, it says, <clears throat> I will go camping. Is that correct? I am going. To yes. I am going because I am going. To. It had a decision. Just a decidido. Okay. Some people says. Um, some people said, uh, we, uh, I'm going to because he has decided on that already, right? Ya decidió yeah. él. So probably is going. So Mr. Urias says, I will because it's future, right? So probably. We are going to check there. Next says, that's great. For how long? I be away for a week. I am going to or I will be. I will be. I will be. I will be, okay? I will be going for a week. I will write it here. Now, then it says, I only have five days of vacation. So when are you leaving? I'm not sure. I will. We. I will. Probably. Probably. Be around the end of August. Very good. Probably I live around the end of August. Then we have the second part of the conversation. Sorry, let me see here. And where you go. That's easy. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Exactly. Where are you going to go? It says, I haven't, I haven't thought about that yet. I guess I will. I will, I will or I'm going to. I will. I will. I will. I will go to one of the national parks. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Maybe I will. I will go hiking on and do some fishing. some fishing. And next one, you rent a camper. What is the question there? Are you going to rent a camper? Are, are, are you, you going, going to rent going a camper? Rent. Okay, very good. I'm not sure. Actually, I probably... I will. Will. Uh, I probably will, will, will rent, rent a camper. camper. It's too, it's too expensive. expensive. Mm -hmm. And then next one. You go with anyone? What is the question there? You go with anyone? Are you going to go with anyone? Are you going to go with anyone? Mm -hmm. No, I need some time alone. I going or will? I will travel I will by myself. Travel by myself. Yes. Okay, Mr. Ria says I will travel by myself. I travel. Going to. And no, over I there, will. Jenny says I'm going to travel by myself. I will. Okay, I will say it, another person. Okay, we are going to check right now the the answers. Okay. We're, we're going to pay attention. Let's see here. And these are the answers. You see, have you made any vacation plans? Well, I've decided on one thing. I am going to go camping. Jingle. Going because he has decided already, right? I have decided one thing. So I'm going to go camping. That's great. For how long? I'm going to be away for a week because he has planned already the, that trip going camping, right? So he's going to be away for a week. I only have five days of vacation. So when are you leaving? I'm not sure. I will. I will because he's not sure, right? Probably leave around the end of August. And where are you going to go? I haven't thought about that yet. I guess, yo creo, I will go to one of the national parks. Voy a ir a un parque nacional. That sounds like fun. 
Yeah, maybe, tal vez, I will go hiking and do some fishing. Sorry here, some fishing. Are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Actually, I probably won't rent a camper. It's too expensive. So in this case, was negative, right? Remember that when we studied too, too expensive, right? Too yes. expensive, too much, too many cars. So too sometimes is a negative connotation. So in this case, it's negative, won't, right? I probably won't rent a camper. No voy a rentar un camper. Es muy caro. Are you going to go with anyone? No. I need some time alone. I'm going to travel by myself. Voy a viajar solo. I'm going to travel by myself. Okay, who wants to practice the conversation now? ¿Quién quiere practicar la conversación? Me. Who said me? Stella, right? And Liliana. Okay, Stella and Liliana. Uh, who will begin? Me. Okay, go ahead. Have you made any vacation plans? Well, I did all I tried. I did sign on the thing. I'm going to go something. That's great. For how long? I am going to be away. No, away for a weekend. A week, yeah, I only have five days of vacation. So when are you leaving? I'm not sure. I will probably leave around the, the end of August. And where are you going to go? I haven't asked some about that yet. I guess I will go to one of the of the national park. That sounds like fun. Yeah, maybe I will go hiking and do a fencing. And are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Actually, I have, I'm probably won't want to rent a camper. It's too uh, expensive. Uh, are you going to go with anyone? No, no, I need some time alone. I'm going to travel myself. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Liliana and Estela. Remember, uh, this word is kind of difficult. Uh, some people, because we are used to write, uh, estamos acostumbrados a decir vacación. Then in English, how do we say it? <laughs> vacation or vacation? Vacation. Vacation. Yes, I understand, Estela. No problem, no worries. Ustedes lo pueden decir mal, pero vamos a, a tratar de cambiar la pronunciación, ok? No problem. So just notice the pronunciation, ok? Vacation or vacation? Vacation. Vacation, vacation, exactly. Vacation is like in Spanish, right? Yes, so, I'm um, sorry. No, no problem. And also Olivia wanted to participate, right, Olivia? Olivia, are yes. you there? Okay, yes. Olivia. Who wants to participate with Olivia? ¿Quién quiere participar con Olivia? Alejandra. Okay, thank you, Alejandra. Go ahead. Who wants to... Uh, Olivia, uh, Olivia, you, you begin, Olivia. Have you made any vacation plans? Well, I decided on one thing. I am going to go camping. Great. For how long? I am going to be away for a week. I only have five days of vacation. So, when are you leaving? I'm not sure. I will probably leave around the end of August. Uh, where are you going to go? I haven't thought about that yet. I guess I will go to one of the national parks. That sounds like fun. Yeah, maybe I will go hiking and do fishing. 
Are you going to rent a camper? I'm not sure. Actually, I probably won't rent a camper. It's too expensive. Are you going to go by anyone? No, I need some time alone. I'm going to travel by myself. Okay, very good. Congratulations, Alejandra and Olivia. Very good. Very good. So um it's it's it says that sounds like fun. What is the meaning of that? That sounds like fun. Suena uh, divertido, exactly. That sounds like fun. Very good. So we can say that, or instead of saying that's great, that's good, that's awesome, we can say that sounds like fun. And we, I guess that we still have time for uh, two more. Who wants to participate? Who else wants to participate? ¿Quién más quiere participar? Tenemos tiempo para dos más. Levi, again, okay, you, you can go ahead, Levi. And Crisia. Okay, go ahead. Have you made any vacation plans? Well, I'll decide on one thing. I am going to go camping. That's great. For how long? I am going to be away for a week. I only have five days on vacation. So when are you leaving? I'm not sure. I will probably leave around the end of August. And where are you going to go? I haven't thought about that yet. I guess I will go when I will go to one of the national parks. That sounds like fun. Yeah, maybe I will go hiking and do fishing. Are you going to rent a camper? No, I'm not sure. Actually, I probably won't rent a camper. It's too expensive. Are you going to go with anyone? No, I need some time alone. I'm going to travel by myself. Very good, very good pronunciation. Very good. Uh, you ready very well because you were like really fast, right? Very fluent, very good. So remember uh, the pronunciation is decided on regular verbs. It's okay. Uh, vacation, right? Vacation, August, right? It's kind of difficult also to say that one. Fun, camper, and by myself, right? By myself. When you say it really fast, it's kind of difficult to say, it. but it was really cool. It was really good. Now, I think that we are going to continue with the next activity. If you want to practice this, I guess that you can find them in YouTube. You can find this conversation in the previous one in case that you want, would like to practice your pronunciation during your vacation next week, right? And we have an activity, plan a weekend camping trip. Choose of the places, uh, choose one of the places, sorry, choose one of the places and mention the things you will take with you. Choose one of the places that we have mentioned, the beach, the a countryside, the mountain. So we are going to plan a trip and try to answer the following questions. When? Are we going to go? ¿Cuándo vamos a ir, verdad? How are you going to get there? ¿Cómo van a llegar a ese lugar? ¿Cómo van a llegar a la playa, a la montaña? How long are you going to stay there? ¿Cuánto tiempo se van a quedar ahí? What are we going to take with you? You can take your clothes, right? Eh, van a llevar ropa extra, van a llevar comida. ¿Qué van a llevar con ustedes? And what are you're going to do each day. ¿Qué van a hacer cada día? You are just going to prepare food. You are going to visit different places. For example, you can go, you can plan a trip uh, also in the city, right? To see to different places in the city if you want to. So that is an activity. I guess that we are going to complete it tomorrow, right? Because we almost finished the class. So that would be like a homework if you have time. Uh, just think about that or think about planning a, a trip. Como que van a ir de vacaciones y quiero que lo planeen. Quiero que se planteen esa idea. Okay. So do you have any questions, any doubts, preguntas? Nothing. No. Okay. Very good. 
So <laughs> if you haven't finished the platform, uh, remember no. try to finish it uh, before Thursday 28th. That, that would be the last day. So you will be able to get your diploma. Some of you already have the diploma. So I just needed to tell you that information for you to be aware of that. And next, uh, tomorrow we are going to continue with this homework, this activity for you to practice your pronunciation and speech and everything, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, Thank so you. I will see you Thank tomorrow. You. See you tomorrow, teacher. I wish see you, you a good night. night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank see you. you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night.